Hi, I'm Steve Mathis. Welcome to Transworld Motocross How-Tos presented by Bike Bandit. Hi, I'm Steve Mathis, Transworld Motocross's editor-at-large. This week on the Transworld Motocross How-To presented by Bike Bandit, I'm going to show you how to put on bars, put your controls back where you are, put some new grips on, and wire them all in one shot. You know what they say, power is nothing without control. I'm going to show you how to control that power. Loosen them like so. You remember what I was saying about just loosening your throttle? Well, here's the part where it comes in handy. And you just simply pull it off. So we've got the bars off the bike. What you can do while you have it off is uh, just get some contact cleaner. Spray down your throttle, kind of clean it out a little bit because no doubt it hasn't been done in a while. It's kind of an easy way to get it clean while you're doing the, uh, the bar change. Take your new bars, Pro Taper Evo bars, and basically line them up in your clamps. What you want to do at this point, take your throttle and slide it on because you've already taken it off from there. install your plate. A lot of times bar mounts uh, have an arrow or a notch on them indicating which way is the front and on this Suzuki there's an arrow there. Almost every bike will have a dot right there or an arrow. Very important to make sure you have that towards the front of the motorcycle. It helps in the clamping process because the front sometimes is a little stepped up from the back. So keep that in mind. You don't need to do you don't need to make sure right now that everything's perfect. You just got to line it up just with your carpenter's eye, you know what I mean? And uh, basically start tightening everything down from there. I got it all snug. Now I'm going to start putting the controls on. When you're putting your throttle on, um, be careful. Don't jam it all the way to the end of the bar. What I like to do, what I did at Tim Ferry's bike, is uh, I jammed it all the way in and then just simply pull it back a little bit and that way it won't get stuck while you turn the throttle get stuck on the uh, on the bar a lot of bikes come with a spacer here between the stock front brake master cylinder and the throttle um, a lot of people throw it out I, I say run it though it's there for a reason it's there to keep your brake from jamming into your uh, into your throttle so I say run it and you want to install your front brake. This one has a front brake slash hot start. So as you're uh, tightening up this, again, you don't need to tighten everything absolute. You're going to adjust it all later. Just get it snug, get it somewhere in the position that you need it to be, and then you can go from there. Now when you're putting on your kill switch, an important trick to know is put the screw head facing down. That's the way it comes stock and that's the way it's mounted but some people forget that and they put the screw thread sticking down. Well that's a bad thing because what can happen is on a crash or you come up short on something and you end up driving the end of this screw into your thigh which isn't a good feeling. So always put the screw head, as you can see, put the head of the screw facing down and uh, your thighs will thank you for it later. And then finally, your clutch. And uh, pay attention to how the cables are routed at the same time. Make sure you don't get those wrong. Everybody, the best bet when you adjust your bars and your levers, take the bike off the stand and sit on it. That seems to be the best way for everybody. So, again, you're just 
snugging everything up. All right, so I'm going to install a ProTaper aluminum throttle tube. Uh, Cowies and Suzuki's have the stock grip vulcanized to the tube, which makes for a hell of a lot of fun taking it off. So a lot of times what you can do is just install a aluminum throttle tube and it works a little better. It protects you from crash damage if you have a race. Um, I've had a rider DNF from a plastic throttle tube in Europe, so they do break. Put a little bit of lube on there. I use some uh, Maxima MPPL. You can use assembly lube as well. And basically, what you want to do is uh, line everything up. Now, the fine folks down here at Transworld don't have that good a collection of screws, but what I like to do generally is on the OEMs, take this screw, it's a five millimeter thread, and uh, go down to your local store or look in your uh, storage compartments, and I like to change it out with an eight millimeter head. Uh, just makes it a little easier instead of the stock Phillips screws. But for now, this bike's fairly new, and uh, the stock Phillips screws will will work. Don't forget to uh, put all the housings back in place, and we're getting ready for grips. All right, when you install new bars, like I said, you want to make sure the front is tight first and then simply snug up the back. You can always look and see at the front here there'll be no gap. The aluminum will be tight to each other and on the back a small gap is okay. But again make sure the front is tight and then you can you can cross these. You can tighten them in a cross manner as well. <clears throat> now we're gonna put wire on. I prefer a diameter of a 0.032 diameter 0.025 you can also use that uh, MSR sells it this way and also some really handy dandy safety wire pliers make your life a whole lot easier I suggest investing in some of these again bikebandit.com and when I wire a grip I cut enough to do two loops if you do one loop and you tighten it down a lot of times they can cut through a grip so I do enough for two loops and basically Take it around there, loop it around, try not to cross it. So I've, I've looped the wire twice, I grab it with the pliers, you lock it in place, and then look at that folks, just magic. And it brings it up, make sure you're in the groove. And we've done the grip install in another video, so if you want to learn how to install the grips the proper way. Uh, you can take that, check that out in a previous episode and just the trick is to just get it tight enough to where you don't snap the wire. So right there it's tight and you can use the same pliers to get in there to cut the excess wire off like that and then use the end and fold it up into the grips. Tim Ferry used to tell me all the time I didn't push it enough into the grips but to that I say screw you Timmy I did and you want to repeat that across the grip a couple times I do three times you can do a loop in the middle and then a loop at the very end some people go in at the beginning and at the end but uh, no matter what you do uh, double wrap it always and, and use these pliers it makes life a whole lot easier I'm Steve Mathis and that's your Transworld Motocross how-to presented by Bike Bandit this week